Hey, this is Dennis. God bless y'all. We're going to get back in the Word, but before we get in the Word, I just want to ask y'all, we need to pray for our president and our country. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on. I think Satan's making a move worldwide. I mean, I don't have to tell you everything that's going on. Actually, I quit watching the news three months ago. I mean, it's like Corona, 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 Corona. You know, how can you talk about a virus 24-7 for two months? But now it's, what, a total of five months. I mean, good Lord. But uh, one thing I want to tell you all before we get in the Word is that I um, found out Monday morning uh, my hometown's Milton, Florida, that last Friday the city council passed a law saying that everybody in the city limits, if they went into any business, had to wear a mask. It was mandatory, which really surprised me. So we live out in the country outside of Milton, but I still consider that my hometown. So I went into Milton. I thought, well, I'm going to try this out. You know, I'm going to go into some different businesses. I went into Tractor Supply. They didn't make me wear a mask. Uh, probably only 40% of the people there had a mask on. The rest didn't. Then I went by my brother's barber shop. Nobody in there had a mask. We talked about the new law. Uh, then I got my brother. I said, let's go to El Paso's to eat Mexican restaurant. I, I go there every Monday. And as soon as I walked in, the, the girl up front, she said, you got a mask? And I said, no. She said, well, you got to have a mask. And I walked up and just told her politely, I said, I'm not going to wear a mask. And I've been going there every Monday for two years. Well, the waitresses all know me and the manager knows me. And... Uh, so these two waitresses, they came over and they said, oh, he's okay, he's okay. And they led me over to a table near the front. So uh, later on, my brother came, he sat down. And I guess that lady didn't see him. I mean, we were close to the front door. And um, the night before, Sunday night, I went to Tasty Freeze and got a banana split. Nobody in there had a mask on. Nobody made you wear a mask. And while we were El Paso's, um, there were several people that came in that she would tell them, oh, you got to have a mask. Well, uh, most of them turned around and just left. Now, one guy, he looked at me he said, you ain't got a mask, do you? I said, no. He said, did you have a mask when you come in here? I said, no. Well, he just went on in. Just walked on in, you know. So, the lady up front, I guess you call her the hostess, she went to the manager's office, the manager's office right up there near the front, knocked on the door. She said, they ain't listening to me. So she stepped in and they talked for a while. She came out. She said, I quit. Walked out the front door. But she showed back up about four or five minutes later. And uh, we went ahead and ate. And right when we finished, we paid and the manager came over and he showed me a copy of the city council ordinance law and um, i said i understand i understand um i said but i'll keep an eye on the situation and um, when they rescind this ridiculous law then i'll come back 
I said, but this is America. This is not communist Russia that they're going to make me wear a mask. And uh, so I left, and then I went in three other places, and nobody made me wear a mask. Now, one place, I got a few weird looks. <clears throat> and one of the last places I went was um, Manning's Feed and Seed. And the guy up front, I said, well, you know, I appreciate you not uh, trying to make me wear a mask. He said, look, he said, we're legally required to post it. Now, all these places had it posted on the front doors. He said, but I don't have to enforce it. And I thought about it. You know, that's true. If city council, if they want to make a law like that, then let them enforce it. The guy at El Paso, he's trying to enforce the city council's law. Uh, but anyhow, thank God, that same night, Monday night, there was a meeting and a bunch of the people in town went. I, I didn't know they had the meeting. And the city council rescinded it. So as of yesterday, they just did away with the law. There was, I would say, 50 to 55 to 60 percent of the people just ignored the law. And that's what we got to do when they come up with stupid, like in our face, unconstitutional laws. I don't think we got to do it. So anyhow, that's my story there. So let's get back in the word. We'll take up where we left off. And it's the fifth trumpet. We're in the book of Revelations, chapter 9, King James Bible, the fifth trumpet. And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. So John, the fifth angel sounds that he sees a star fall from heaven, and this is the key thing that I don't know if other people pick up on. It fell to the earth, and then it says to him, to him, he refers to the stars, him was given the key of the bottomless pit. Now, I don't know who the him is, but I think I read in the Bible one time where Jesus was referred to as the bright morning star. So, I mean, I don't know. Is this Jesus that was given the key to the bottomless pit? Or was it just some other great angel. Now, I mean, I'm not trying to refer to Jesus as an angel, but anyhow, to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. And he opened the bottomless pit, and there arose a smoke out of the pit as the smoke of a great furnace, and the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. And there came out of the smoke locusts unto the earth, and unto them was given power, as the scorpion of the earth have its power. So out of this bottomless pit, out of this smoke, came locusts on the earth, and they were given power, as the scorpion has power. And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any great green thing neither any tree but only those men which have not the seal of God in their foreheads so it was commanded these locusts to not hurt you know the grass or the trees or anything but just to torment these people that did not have the seal of God in their foreheads and to them it was given that they should not kill them, but they should be tormented five months. So 
They were told not to kill the people, but they were told to torment these people that didn't have the seal of God in their foreheads for five months. And their torment was as the torment of a scorpion when he striketh the man. And in those days shall men seek death. So it's saying during this time, people are going to seek to die and shall not find it. And they shall desire to die. They're going to want to die. And death shall flee away from them. Death is going to run away from them. They, they're wanting to die. And now all this coming up is, is different. I'll tell you that. The shape of the locusts were like unto horses prepared unto battle. So their shape was like horses prepared unto battle. Their heads were as it were crowns like gold. Their faces were as the face of men. So in their faces, it looked like the faces of men. And they had hair as the hair of women. So I'm thinking they must have had long hair. And their teeth was the teeth of lions. So I'm thinking lions have big old teeth. And they had breastplates as it were breastplates of iron. So, I mean, iron's a mighty strong thing. And the sound of their wings was as the sound of chariots of many horses running to battle. So it refers to in saying they have wings. And the sounds of their wings are sounds of chariots of many horses running the battle. So I'm thinking that's loud. Almost makes me think of a helicopter. You know, you know how you hear a helicopter? <laughs> and they had tails like in the scorpions. And there were stings in their tails. And their power was to hurt men five months. And they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit. So all these locusts, they had a king over them, and it, their king was the angel of the bottomless pit. So I'm thinking that's got to be one of Satan's angels, one of the one-third that went with him. And he lived down below the earth, down in this bottomless pit. And he just came out with them, and he was king over these locusts. And this angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in Greek tongue hath his name Apollyon. One woe is past, and behold, there come two woes more hereafter. So there's going to be two more woes, the sixth, sixth trumpet blast and the seventh. All right, well, God bless y'all. You have a good day. Bye-bye.